quick whistle. First break is spirit in this deal if we have it ready to go. PJ Mullen is a marketing Swiss Army knife that started his career here at Penn State. After graduation in 2007, he moved around working a couple different jobs. Radio, you know, TV, production. I lived in Harrisburg um, for a year outside of Harrisburg and Carlisle and learned how to, it wasn't about the money. After having success in the DC radio market, something was always pulling him back to State College. He took a job as a local morning radio show host at B94.5. And my mission was really to come to, to Penn State, come back and do it the right way. Um, not be a student and take it for granted and come back here and, and truly make an impact. And that's what I've been you know, focused on the past seven or eight years since I've been back here. We are at uh, the hub today for a yes, day of philanthropy. 11 a.m. until 2, we're looking forward to it. Swing on by, check it out more information at B94.5 Morning Zoo Crew. Hundreds of interns worked at the station throughout the years, learning from PJ. He always wanted that morning show to be the best morning show uh, out of all of them. And that is the thing that I admire most about him, that drive, that passion to succeed. PJ was willing to help out the State College community in any way possible. He was, he was the DJ in State College at that point in time, especially for the younger demographic, which is a lot of you know, families and stuff that we have, the you know, children come into the games. And then he would come and he would come later in the night, so he'd get up probably at 3 a.m. If, or if he went to sleep, go into the radio station, do his show in the morning, maybe get a nap in the afternoon, come back for the Spikes game later that night, host all the on-field antics we would do during the game and, and do it all with grace. All right, it's a Thursday, this is the Zoo 272 b After a couple years at the station, Penn State University finally reached out to him for an opportunity. I got a call one day and they were like, hey, uh, can you start helping us with stuff at Beaver Stadium? And that was kind of my first step into the limelight at Penn State. Um, it was running music, it was starting to help out with game day production. Last time we did a sound check, the one speaker caught on fire, so that's why we do it. The atmosphere at Beaver Stadium, I treat that, I don't have any kids, I don't have a wife, so I treat that as close as I can to that in my life. Like I really, it's a sacred area for me. I spend so much time cutting songs and videos and working with a team of people to make that um, what we think is the best in the entire country. Kirk Herbstreit said that, our recruits have said that, and donors have said that, and fans have said that, students have said that. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's my passion. It's, it's literally my life. I mean, I don't spend a second of any day without thinking how whatever I just heard or saw could, could be used at Beaver Stadium. P.J. Mullen has been part of many great moments at Beaver Stadium, but nothing will ever top the spring game from 2018. Blue-white game, either last year or the year before. Um, coach kind of said, hey, look, let's, let's do some, let's, let's start making more of an impact at the blue-white game. Let's make it more interactive. And we worked with Special Olympics and some of my favorite people in town, Brooke Fisher is one of them. She's one of my best friends. She's uh, got Down syndrome. She's 28 years old and a dear friend. And uh, to be able to grab Trace McSorley, who's a good friend and, and I'm friends with his family, and Brooke Fisher, who has Down syndrome, and to be able to get them on the field in front of 40 or 50 or 60,000 people and to be able to run a play and be right smack dab in the middle of it, get Brooke on the, on the microphone yelling, we are, and have Coach Smith out there with his daughter, Haley, and to see Trace, who I remember Trace when he was a freshman and no one knew who Trace was, and sitting in my office and he and I talking and me thinking, hey, when your day comes, you're going to be the guy, so let's start working on that now. Yeah, Big Ten Championships, beating Ohio State, storming the field, all awesome things. Playing Mo Bamba, great. Awesome, making Michigan call a timeout before the game started, making Jim Harbaugh be like, holy smokes, this place is loud. They don't compare to that moment. They never will, and that's no offense to all the hard work that goes into winning football games. It's just, that's just Penn State for you, and you just don't get that anywhere else. In 2013, after finally building up a rapport with the football staff, PJ was dealt some crushing news. An official announcement made in the last hour, Bill O'Brien has resigned as Penn State head football coach and is heading to the Houston Texans. Athletic director David Joyner says a search for a new coach is underway. When I just have my foot in the door with him and then I hear he's leaving and, um, and then I'm like, oh my gosh, we got to start all over again. I just got in with the guy, the top dog. And I see they're hiring this guy, James Franklin, and I look him up and I read all about him and I watch videos of him. I see he's got a wife and two daughters and I see he's a family guy. <clears throat> Reminded me of my dad. 
and I see he's a guy that everyone's saying, this guy is a go-getter. And I said, in my head, I, I swear to you, I said, I'm going to work for this guy. I don't know how, I don't know when, but I'm gonna work for this guy. So for the next, from that January of 2014 to September, I pretty much, I, I basically stalked him. All that stalking was finally about to pay off. One night in the summer came and he, he hits me up and, and I'm working at Tussie Mountain Wing Fest, and he goes, hey, are you busy right now? And I, I was really busy, and he goes, are you busy? I go, no, I'm not busy. And he goes, let's meet up for dinner. Do you like sushi, hate sushi? I was like, yes, coach, I love sushi. Gotta make it, gotta fake it till you make it type of deal. I speed down from Wing Fest. I left my interns up there by themselves. Meet up with him for some sushi. I'm like throwing it up in my mouth. And he starts talking to me about like, hey, like I think I got something for you. That something was the director of player development and community relations. You know, everyone knows Saquon, everyone knows Trace and Christian Hackenberg, and like that's cool, and those guys are awesome people and humans, and friends with them, and friends with their parents, and friends with their brothers and sisters, girlfriends, wives, some of them fiancés. Um, and that's awesome, and that's something a Penn State fan would look at and be like, that's so cool. When I was at the Eagles game a year or two ago, Saquon's first game in Philly, I'm on the field, you know, hooking up with him, and hanging out and a lot of people are like, that's so cool. That was actually just a proud moment for me because I was one of the first guys that I literally had at the DMV teaching him how to parallel park. Two years after working for the football team, PJ was offered the director of marketing position in 2016, which still let him work with football, but offered up a new sport, basketball. And tonight, number nine, Penn State, back at the PJC. We're giving away a ton of TV stuff and a great time. Get off. Okay, I'll meet between 116 and 170. I'm gonna head that way now. Let's meet there in the next minute, and then we'll do this thing to kick it off, and then we'll go spirit. Dan won't be able to take court from the spirit. Okay. I love the flow of a basketball game. You get four or five timeouts per half, and we could have a script and a timeline all day, but we're not in autopilot mode, so having plans A through E ready for any timeout and calling it like a football game, like you always see the football coach with his playbook up in front of his mouth. We're doing that at, at football games and basketball games, but like, we're, like, I have everything lined up by timeline, so. Get ready, hometown Mike's hero. supposed to be, hey, this next break's supposed to be 36, 37, 38, hometown hero, followed by the blocking out, you know, cancer read, followed by the next game read. If we just went on a run against, you know, Michigan State, and it was a 10-0 run, no offense to any of that Jack stuff. Russell we are going, we're throwing 36 to 30 at the window. We're going 71, which is a spirit timeout. We're running flags in the court, going to rock and roll with the band, cheer and dance. We're throwing t-shirts out there, and we're running hype videos up on the on the video board. I think that's my favorite part. Like, the flow is so up and down. It's kind of like life. It's a roller coaster. People who have worked closely with DJ see his desire to put on the best show possible. We also often just sit in his office and we're just brainstorming ways to make make it better. Like, every element can be improved, every element can be cleaner, can be a little tighter, you know, tighten it up a little bit. Sean, I'm um, assuming you're not showing this because But that's, just, that's fun. Like, I love doing that with him, because he, it's a great creative outlet. Like, he always wants to do it. He always wants to say yes to everything, even if deep down we know some of the stuff is a little ambitious. There but it's go. always, it. yes, let's try it, let's do it, let's, let's try to get it done. And if we don't, we'll try to come back to it another time. And so I just love, I love that side of it. Love working with him on that. He's pragmatic, meaning he has, uh, he has lofty aspirations, I'd say, from time to time, but he has a practical way of getting them done. In the end, it is all about the Penn State fans. The mindset and the philosophy is don't be one dimensional and make an impact. So never be standing still, don't get lapped. Uh, and no matter what you do, whether it's for one person, for 100,000 people, it could be their first or last time ever at a Penn State event. Make sure they leave feeling that way.